Hello everyone, and welcome to 10 Things You Might Not Have Known About Breath of the Wild. Without further ado, let's get right into the list. Number 10. You can activate the camera and scope while on a tree. By climbing up a tree, you can get up higher so you can scout out your next location. Or you can just take a selfie wire up there. Number 9. Birds can show you where treasure, shrines, and fish are. If you are running out of food and need a resupply, fish is a very good option. However, they are primarily found in groups of 5 to 3. By looking out for birds, you can find larger patches of fish easily, and sometimes treasure and shrines as well. Number 8. Food cooked during a blood moon has better effects. Being an event that occurs every two hours, the blood moon is a reset button to the world of Hyrule. However, smart players know that when the blood moon rises, prepare your spices. The blood moon enhances your food, so use this small amount of time wisely. Number 7. Broken down carts by the side of the road sometimes have treasure in them. Just like how broken guardians have guardian parts, the old wagons can sometimes have treasure hidden inside of them. So if you start a new file and don't want to waste tools mining ores, take some time and examine the wagons you've overlooked. Number 6. The half broken guardians can clip through the map with a stasis plus rune. By freezing these broken guardians, you send them a one-way ticket to the void. Number 5. There are three points surrounding Eventide Island, where you can find treasure. If you look on the map, you can see these three spots where the ocean floor rises up just a little bit. At each of these points, there is a treasure enticing you to travel to Eventide Island. Number 4. Just north of Gerudo Tower, there is a lump with a cave. If you push the boulders away, inside is treasure and Gerudo gear. If you favor Gerudo weapons, here is a place to get your hands on some. Number 3. This one cooking pot in Karakara Bazaar allows you to get infinite arrows. I know it sounds crazy, but if you have a multi-shot bow, try this one out for yourself. Number 2. Link can't stand on top of snowballs. I don't know why, I guess you just slip off. Number 1. The Moonlight Scimitar has the head of a cat on the end of its handle. Although this is a small detail, it may be a reference to the Egyptian god Basset. Basset was often referred to as the Eye of the Moon. It would be fitting to put this reference on the weapon called the Moonlight Scimitar. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, and want to see more of them, please subscribe so you never miss an upload. Later, y'all.